Hello everyone, my name is Neeraj and in this video I'm going to discuss jQuery method delegate. Previously I created a video on jQuery live. If you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend you to watch that video. At the end of that jQuery live video, I showed you two issues with the live method and both these issues are being taken care of in jQuery method delegate. So let's get started. Here we have a piece of code which does not work with live. And the reason why it doesn't work in live is because we are chaining the selectors here. As it was discussed in the last video, if live is used with chaining, then it does not work. So let's go ahead and click on Google here and of course it did not work so how do we fix it we can fix it using delegate so before i go into how delegate works let me change the code so that it uses delegate and then i will show you how delegate actually works here i'm going to replace live with delegate and delegate takes the first argument as the final selector and since we are putting a there we can get rid of this find and that's it now if i hit run and if i click on google i get to see google and remember the intel record is being dynamically added so if i click on intel intel also works so now we need to see why delegate works and how it works well in the previous video i mentioned to you that anytime we use live then all the event handlers are attached to the document so that's one property of the live and the other property is that live does not work when we chain the selectors in the case of delegate what happens is that here we are providing the context as table and then we can do as much chaining as we want and what happens is that this click event handler is attached at the table level so this is a major difference between the way delegate works and the way live works in the case of live the event handlers are attached to the document but in this case when you are doing when you're writing delegate then you need to mention the base at which the event handler would be bound here i have mentioned table so what it means is that anytime i click anywhere in the table the click event will keep bubbling up to the table and then the event handler will be fired and we get to see the message so that's how uh, delegate works let's take another example the another problem with the live was that if for some reason event is not allowed to bubble all the way to the document level then live will not be able to handle it that is just the way live works because the event has to propagate all the way to the document so that the event handler can fire in here in this case i am selecting all the links and i'm attaching a click handler by using live so if i run this code if i click google i see google it works now let's add a little bit of com complexity by stopping the event propagation to the document so here what I'm doing is that I'm having I'm attaching another event handler at div so notice in the HTML markup where div is div is right above the table but div is before the document which means that this event handler will be executed before the event is able to bubble all the way to the document and here in the event handler I am doing e.stop 
propagation, which means that the clicked event will not be able to propagate all the way to the document node, which means that the live event handler should not fire and we will not get this alert message. So let's try it out. I'm clicking on run here, then I click on Google and indeed I did not get the alert message and I went to the Google page. One way to fix it would be to use delegate method. I mentioned that in the delegate I can provide the base context to which the event handler would will be bound. So all I need to do is that I need to pick an, an event handler which is before div and then I will be okay. So the node which is before div is table. So I'm going to rewrite this code using delegate and my base context will be table. Table dot delegate and here I am selecting all the links and now if I hit run and if I click on Google I get to see Google the reason why I get to see Google because when I clicked on the link an event object was created and this event object bubbled all the way to the table node and this is where we attached our event handler and it got fired. Here I have shown you two examples where delegate is uh, superior to life. In fact, there is nothing which life can do and delegate cannot do. In other words, delegate can do everything life can do and it can do a lot more. Now the question is why would you use life? And that's a good question. If you do not want to use live, you can stop using live and you can use delegate for all your work. In fact, some of the leading JavaScript developers are proposing exactly the same. Justin Meyer of JavaScript MVC framework, he wrote a, a blog called Why You Should Never Use jQuery Live. I encourage you to read this blog article in which he has mentioned a number of reasons why you should always choose delegate over life and at the bottom of the blog you can also read some of the discussions which is very interesting that's the end of this video if you have any feedback then let me know thank you